Welcome everyone to Elusive Reality by Jem Priez. Here at Hang Hangton's Endowment of the Arts, or H E A for shorten. Uh, Jem Priez is one that we haven't seen in quite some time. Works in Fractals. Used to have uh, a lot of works on the LEA Sims, the Linden Endowments of the Arts, until those went down. It seems to have found a little spot here in the pseudo replacement that they have going on here. But yeah, this gives us an interesting uh, thing to take into uh, take in here. It talks about how we perceive more and more as we approach them. But we can never exactly find out their ultimate fineness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to... Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom sort of in and out of these uh, paintings so we kind of get that same sort of idea of view of approaching so we can kind of see them from further away and then see upwards and see how detailed things get from away to quite close. So we have 12 of these paintings here today, so we're going to go through them one by one. And I don't think this one... Okay, there we go. So yeah, we have uh, these exceptionally detailed uh, fractal paintings here, which fractal fractal spuff I've taken quite a favor into ever since I started seeing uh, Jean Priez's work here. It always gives me a, a surreal alien kind of look when I see these types of things, and this one's no different for sure. So it looks like we have a little walk around a circle to do, I think, here. Yeah, it is a bit of a shame that the LEA uh, Sims went down, but this uh, HEA is in fact sort of picking up the torch and uh, leading with it, but I believe it's only one Sim, so these are much smaller galleries and projects going on here, which is only the, which is the only unfortunate drawback, is I guess uh, I guess they probably could never really particularly. Uh, get sims devoted to the art projects going on anymore after the issues of LEA. I have to try and get these centered as much as possible, which is a bit of a, uh... Oh wow, there's a lot going on in this one, that's for sure. And coming up closer, you can see all the little finite bits of just everything scattering about. And that's, at least that's what it looks like to me. It's like something just broke and scattered about everywhere. But these are done, these uh, portraits are done with like many, many sets of pictures going through them. And you may have actually seen it on the first one we looked at uh, earlier on where like one piece of it was gray while the rest of it was showing. That's because it's probably like, I think it's at least nine pictures put together as one big uh, detailed picture, I assume, probably for... I assume for definition, I I think, but uh, I could be wrong. Because there might be some sort of limitation with the image uploader here for how big you can make something. Or its size. These definitely do have a lot of detail to them. It's 
like a glimpse into some sort of uh, alien world, like I said. That's the way I kind of look at it. This one it looks kind of like the red is exploding or skewering the gray that's going on here almost. This one seems a little bit different. This one actually kind of looks like almost, uh... This one was def definitely looks like it was made with something else that, uh... I'm not quite sure about that. They almost look like planets to me, but uh, some of them are merging, some of them are, seems like maybe they're breaking apart. This one's very curious indeed, because it almost looks like a... Uh... I don't know, it looks like bits and pieces of the red are falling off that uh, center one that has the gray underneath it, perhaps, I'm not quite sure. Like it almost looks the same with this one too, but instead of red, it's the black coming off this white. Did we look at this one before? I think we did. Pretty sure we did. So we'll go ahead and move on to this one over here. I don't know, this one looks kind of like a chasm to some alien world. really is makes me wonder how this kind of stuff is made so I have to admit I don't know much about uh, fractal work in general but uh, this always does look rather nice to me this kind of work
This one, I'm not sure what I would interpret this as. See a lot of detail though in all that. Can only imagine how many all those little spears it takes to put together. I don't know, this one honestly just makes me think of like little berries. <laughs> Like the first thing that comes to mind when I look at this is the word warm. Which I think would make sense because I'm pretty sure these are all like warm colors here. I don't know, this one actually kind of looks almost like well, this looks like some sort of contraption or machine. Like you can almost see a figure in it, I think. And some of this kind of looks a bit more... I, don't know, I guess I would say machine like, like it almost looks like broken metal parts. Here we have the final portrait. Bit of an interesting uh, bit of stuff here. You can see a lot of uh, spheres going through that. Once again, another curious one. It kind of looks like a. Like before, it kind of looks like a place on an alien planet or something like that. But yes, that was uh, Jem Priez's Elusive Reality. First gallery I've been to for them in quite some time, a couple of years I would say. But I'm happy to see them back and getting uh, galleries done again. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope to see you guys in the next video here real soon. So see you then.